After serving slightly over 15 years as a member of the bench, rising to the ranks of the presidency at the Court of Appeal, Justice Paul Kihara Karioki walked into a different chamber, ready for the next phase of his legal career. Should he be approved, Justice Kihara becomes Kenya's seventh attorney general. But there are fears that you are likely to use your intellectual capacity uh, to not work in the best interest of Kenyans if you decide to. Could be further from the truth. My strength comes from the experience, the varied experience and my conviction that justice must be for all. But even with a stellar career in the judiciary, it is the one decision he made on the eve of the repeat presidential election that has now come to haunt him. The subcommittee of the Judicial Service Commission that is investigating you on the matter of the appointment of the returning officers by IBC. I don't think it would be proper for me to discuss this at this house and with all due respect reverence to you, Mr. Speaker, and the honorable members, because that would appear to be preempting what the Judicial Service Commission might have to say. By virtue of his position, if approved by the National Assembly, the Justice will become an automatic member of the JSC. Two weeks before President Uhuru Kenyatta nominated Justice Karioki to take over from Professor Gidho Muigai, the JSC had formed a special committee to look into allegations of misconduct and insubordination against the Court of Appeal judge. Now that I'm sure you'll be successful. If this statement is anything to go by, then the vetting process that will culminate in his succeeding Professor Gidho Muigai will see him walk into an office whose previous holder was this morning described as having failed to mediate between the judiciary and the executive, whose rocky relations were also on the brink of an outburst, especially in the period between the two presidential elections of 2017. I'm disappointed the judge appears to be keen to be attorney general, but I wish him, you know, the best. I have thought and prayed about this very carefully and very earnestly. And if we all bury our heads in the sand and run away from some of these positions, who will do them? Justice Karioki believes that the roles of the Solicitor General and the Attorney General are well defined and that he will engage humbly with his colleagues to bring change to the state law office, which includes properly trained staff, proper remuneration and retention of that staff, and ensuring that all cases are dealt with. Leila Mohamed, NTV.